Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. This love reading will be all about your person, the person that you're currently thinking about or connecting with at this time. Uh, keep in mind these readings are general, so um, take what resonates for you, what applies to you. We're going to be looking at your person's uh, thoughts, feelings towards you and their intentions uh, for the near future when it comes to you or this connection. So let's jump right in. Spirit, angels, guides. What's going on for Aries in love? Something in my tape. What's going on for Aries in love? What's going on for Aries in love? What's going on for Aries in love? Okay, we have inner voice, intuition, guidance, answers. Let your intuition guide you towards the right path. What else for Aries? What's going on for Aries in love? Moving forward, movement, cycles, endings. You're moving forward into a new chapter. And then bottom of the deck I have coming together. Destiny reunion meeting. Destiny has brought you together. So Aries, keep in mind that this could be all of your energy. It could be your person's energy. So feel free to flip it as it resonates. But I think that someone's inner voice, someone's intuition is guiding them here to make some sort of a move. And for some reason, this move is going to, I feel, bring them together with someone else or uh, lead to some sort of reunion or meeting. So we will see what that's all about. Nope. What else can you tell me, Spirit, for Aries? What else can Aries expect? What can Aries expect in regards to love? We have high honor, number 25. And bottom of the deck, concern, number 33. Now, high honor is very, like, official. Something with official, so let me look at that real quick. Trophies, medals, honor, success, promotion, a raise, acing an exam, or graduating with honors. The significator is on his way up socially or professionally. Uh, okay. Achievement, career advancement, recognition, and promotion. Virtually always business related. This card announces success. In a relationship, high honor can imply an invitation or even a declaration of love. As the card signifies solving problems, it can also demonstrate the resolution of all difficulties. Um, so a lot of different meetings here and you know, this particular deck, there's literally three people that are giving their interpretations of each card. So you get a lot of messages. Um, however, concern is at the bottom of the deck here. Um, so if I'm getting that this is possibly more related to um, trying to resolve a problem or trying to perhaps achieve success in a connection, but there's concerns of about the um, result or the success of that. Yeah, despair right behind that. So I'm not gonna take this as just straight up success because I'm not really, I, I think I need to also take into account the other energies here. Toil and labor after that, definitely. So I feel like this is someone that wants to work on something, put an effort in a connection perhaps, and they're not sure if it's gonna guarantee success. So let's look at the tarot, which I'm gonna use this new beautiful deck that um, I love. It's a bit larger than the uh, traditional tarot deck, so keep in mind that, that it's larger as I struggle to shuffle. <laughs> 
All right, Spirit, any other messages, please, for Aries? So, Aries, I'm going to be clarifying each of these energies separately. So, clarity, guidance, wisdom, please, Spirit, for Aries. Tell me about this inner voice energy. What is this inner voice energy about for Aries? We have the Six of Wands. What else can you tell me about this inner voice energy? What's this inner voice energy about? Page of Cups. So I'm almost thinking about love. Whatever this is, someone's thinking about love. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy at the bottom of the deck here. And the Wheel of Fortune right behind that. Opportunity, change, movement with the wheel. It's almost like someone's thinking about love, success in love, recognition in love. Maybe they're recognizing who they truly love here. We'll see. This could also be an apology, this page of cups and wanting to be successful in that apology kind of goes with these other energies here. Tell me about high honor and concern. Tell me about high honor and concern. Spirit, why is high honor? Four of Wands. Why is someone so concerned? Tell me about high honor and concern. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be your energy here. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Cups behind that. Wow. I mean, that goes with this moving forward card. Someone moving forward for love. Because of love. Um, I'm telling you, it's almost like this. The, this is very connected all of these energies here i feel like someone their sick their version of success in a connection has a lot to do with a stable happy home um home is very important here with the four of wands tell me about this moving forward energy why is moving forward here Why is moving forward here? Ace of Cups, yeah, exactly. So this is somebody moving forward into a new cycle because of love or where they will find love. Can I get one more for this moving forward energy? Why is moving forward here? Why is moving forward here? Ten of Cups, wow happiness fulfillment and this is kind of a common energy that i get for aries nine of swords at the bottom of the deck here um there's stress anxiety fear and then the high priestess so i feel like someone's intuition is trying to help them or guide them out of this fearful anxious energy here with the nine of swords this deck is so gorgeous um all of the decks that i use will be linked down below uh, by the way so let's get into this with my clarifier deck because of course these are great energies but why is someone moving forward right why is someone concerned why is intuition so important here it's almost like um intuition is the driving force or someone's inner voice spirit could be guiding this along and i don't know it's almost like it would have happened if it wouldn't have started here with someone's intuition or inner voice really speaking to them also i kind of want to know if this is an apology because i did get that that energy guidance clarity for aries please spirit What guidance, clarity do you have for Aries? Tell me about this 
What was that? Tell me about this um, page of cups. Why is the page of cups here? The double reverse Capricorn energy. Why is the page of cups here? Oh, this fell out. Oh, the tower. I'm going to uh, put it just like it fell, which is kind of sideways here. I feel this is an apology for something that happened possibly in the past here or recently happened for some of you. Um, we have the Capricorn energy here with the devil. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Uh, this could also be that someone recently had a tower moment in their own life and is allowing them to come to you or express something to you here. Now, yeah, just like I, just when I said, it's allowing them to come to you. There's the chariot. But the Eight of Wands is reverse. So this could be that there's not a lot of communication or a, a, the movement is not very quick. Uh, bottom of the deck, the world reverse, possibly because the cycle is delayed um, in ending here with this other person. Because this is a big, um, big situation here with the tower and the devil. Right behind that, we have that King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles did show up with that other deck. Okay, we have the Three of Cups and the Seven of Wands that seems to just fall out of this deck. I don't know what's going on. Um, you know, I'm picturing someone like imagining how a reunion would go. How a coming together would go. Um options that they may have here there's confusion with the seven of cups can I get one more for this double reverse why is the double reverse ah the hangman reverse so i feel like this is someone that was stuck somewhere um and recently got out yeah nine of swords reverse at the bottom of the deck fear possibly kept them stuck where they were and i think that they were overcoming that fear that anxiety this could be you or your person take it as it resonates tell me about this um four of wands with the queen of wands What is the Four of Wands here with the Queen of Wands? Nine of Cups. Interesting. I feel like this is um, something to do with success, recognition with you, Aries. Um, like maybe you're someone's wish fulfillment. Like someone knows they would be very happy with you here. Yeah, Five of Coin Reverse. Um, they would regain something that they've lost or have some sort of recovery here. No longer struggling, no longer away um, from what they feel is home. Can I get one more for the Four of Wands and the Queen of Wands? I'm not sure why they were away in the first place. Emperor Reverse. Well, there you are, Aries. Maybe you are upset at this person. Um... Uh, because of what happened in the past, I do have the Ten of Swords here and then the King of Cups reverse. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that was heartbroken over what happened. Um, I feel like there's the Four of Wands again. I feel like someone like tried to let go of this energy, of this um, pain. Six of Swords there with the Ten of Wands. There's a lot going on here. Knight of Cups. There's a lot going on here between you and this person. I don't think this is someone... Like, this is someone where the situation is complicated. Why the Emperor Reverse? Because of whatever reason. You know, fill in the blank. But it's not so easy. Maybe that's why this person's coming to you so slowly. Tell me about the Emperor Reverse. Why is the Emperor reverse? Six of Wands reverse. I feel like this person disappointed you, um, Aries. I'm picking up more disappointment from this Emperor reverse 
at what didn't work out here, at something that must have happened in the past here that caused an ending. Yeah, there was like an imbalance, lack of successors, that King of Pentacles again. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. But, I mean, make no mistake, this person, I feel, holds you in high regard. I think that they, um, they think about this with you. And I don't know, I don't know what happened in the past, but it's, I, I don't know. It's almost like this person may be having some regrets here because I have the hangman reverse, the devil reverse, the tower here. So wherever they were, it wasn't good. What's with this Ace of Cups and Ten of Cups? Why is the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups here? Wow, the lovers, Gemini energy. Why is the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups here? Queen of Cups reverse, oops. Now the King of Pentacles has shown up a few times. Um, for me as a reader, the King of Pentacles um, usually isn't a commitment or is a provider, um, older, wiser, that kind of energy. So this could have been a situation where you were not the one chosen Aries. Let me know if that resonates in the comments. Tell me about the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Empress, wow. What's this? Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like this is someone's dream here to be with their Empress. Um, Nine of Swords, Reverse, Ace of Wands. Yeah. Um, to overcome their anxiety, their fear, or maybe they have to have a new beginning and o be open to new opportunities with the Four of Cups reverse. Now the star is reversed, so this is somebody that maybe they think this is a hopeless situation or a hopeless cause, um, but I feel like they're still going to try just because this is ultimate happiness here, uh, Aquarius energy with the star. So I feel like with the lovers, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, the Empress, um, I mean, you are a prize, I feel. This is someone that has recognized your value or um, understands that where you are is where growth, manifestation, love is. Now, the Queen of Cups is reversed. The Queen of Cups reversed tends to be someone that is a bit on the emotional side. Sometimes they can be um, clingy or emotionally attached. Sometimes they can just be heartbroken. Um, tell me about this Queen of Cups reverse. Why is the Queen of Cups reverse? Six of Cups, yeah, the past. Two of Pentacles reverse, a choice here. Um, and the world reverse. So I feel like maybe you didn't have closure with this person. Uh, maybe the past this person knows is a is an issue because I see them kind of wondering here with the Seven of Cups. Like, will um, Aries be okay with me approaching them or um, talking to them with the Page of Cups? So let's get some insight into your person. What do we need to know about this other person? Spirit, what do we need to know about this other person that Aries is dealing with? What do we need to know about them? What do we need to know about this person that Aries is dealing with? What do we need to know about them? What do we need to know about this person that Aries is dealing with? What do we need to know about this other person? Three of Pentacles. What else? What do we need to know about this person that Aries is dealing with? Um, collaboration, working together, putting in effort here in order to build something in the full. Yeah. So I feel like when it comes to this person, they're working on a new beginning, um, working on taking a risk here. Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, working hard. This is someone focused on a goal. I feel like your person is the one moving forward for a lot of you. They are moving forward into a new cycle in their life. And for some reason, that involves you, Aries. 
The fool takes risks. The fool has no idea how things are going to go. They're just willing to start. Uh, clean slate, fresh, new, um, whole new journey. You know, this is starting from zero, literally. <laughs> you have the zero right there. So I feel like this is someone who is prepared to put in an effort or prepared to work on whatever's going on currently to have this fool. Yeah, behind that we have the Knight of Pentacles. So again, this idea of someone coming to you slowly. Um, someone taking their time, someone, yeah, walking away with the Eight of Cups. They're walking away from something in order to come to you here. That I see. Okay, so let's look at what's happening next. Spirit, where is all of this headed? For Aries and this other person. Where is all of this headed for Aries? Where is all of this headed for Aries? And this other person. What's next? The Eight of Cups. What's next for Aries and this other person? What's next? For Aries and this other person, Spirit, what's next? The Ace of Swords. Beautiful. Clarity, truth, victory, new beginning here. Eight of Cups and the Ace of Swords, I feel, are tied together. Um, and it's funny because the moon is here. And in this particular deck, the moon is, like, very prominent. Like, they stick out, you know. Um, intuition. I feel like someone's intuition, someone's inner voice has led them to have this clarity. They could be coming over to talk, right, with the Eight of Cups on a path towards you, on a path towards a situation where, you know, you come together, you reunite with this person in some way. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. So, love, compassion, intuition, once again. Queen of Cups is very intuitive. Um, very loving, nurturing energy, warm, inviting. Um, and then the Magician after that with the Six of Wands again. So I feel like this is someone that, you know, they're manifesting having success with you, which is the ongoing theme of this reading. <laughs> I mean, it's just it just keeps coming up. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. So you or this other person, Aries, are walking away from a situation. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. What insight spirit can you give me into this Ace of Eight of Cups? Seven of Wands, okay. Someone standing, taking a stand, standing firm, defending themselves, having courage here, fighting against any challenge. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Wow, Ten of Cups. Once again, I feel like someone's motivated by what could be. Um, the ultimate happy ending, happiness, joy. Um, also, I'm getting that for some of you, this person's family is a problem. Because I have them here with the Seven of Wands. Almost like they're fighting against their family or fighting against may maybe family obligations, family expectations. Um, or expectations with like others in regard to their home, their family. There's the Queen of Wands. See, I feel like that this is more about fighting for happiness with you here. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Yeah, this is someone with a goal. Whoever this is, this is someone with a goal. This is not someone that leaves a situation and then you never hear from them again. Like, that's not what this is, you know? I have the Ace of Swords here. So I feel communication will be happening in the near future. Let's see. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Spirit, why is the Ace of Swords here? Page of Wands, yeah. Why is the Ace of Swords here? 